1000 volt charging system, and an ultra high performance drive motor. This new motor, boasting a staggering 30,511 rounds per minute and 580 kilowatt, 778 Ps per module, is now one of the most advanced mass produced motors in the market. In terms of sheer performance, it surpasses Xiaomi's V8S motor, which powers the Xiaomi SU7 Ultra at 27,200 rounds per minute, and Tesla's renowned 20,000 rounds per minute motor, found in the Model S Plaid. What makes BYD's new motor even more remarkable, is the series of cutting-edge technologies embedded within it. The use of N50EH high-energy magnets enhances magnetic performance by 18%, while current losses are reduced by 44%. The integration of a 0.2 mm ultra-thin silicon steel sheet plays a crucial role in minimizing iron loss, and the 10-layer short-distance winding design effectively lowers copper loss by 21%. Furthermore, the motor achieves an extraordinary level of precision, controlling dynamic balance within 50 mg, far superior to the industry standard of 100 mg. To complement this powerhouse, BYD has developed its own 1,500-volt silicon carbide SIC, power module, which enhances efficiency and heat dissipation. The direct cooling refrigerant technology further optimizes thermal management, ensuring the motor operates at peak performance without overheating. Before starting our video I just want to say welcome to the Electric Explorer your go-to spot for all things electric. We dive deep into the world of electric vehicles, from the latest models and tech to industry trends and sustainability efforts. Whether you're an EV enthusiast, or just starting to explore, we've got you covered with reviews, news and insights that will keep you plugged into the future of driving. So, hit that subscribe button, buckle up, and let's charge forward together. While one might expect such a high-performance motor to be deployed in BYD's luxury performance lineup, such as the Yangwang U9 hypercar, or the upcoming U7 sedan, the company has taken an unconventional approach by introducing it first in the Han L sedan and Tang L SUV. Both vehicles are positioned as mid-tier, family-oriented models rather than high-performance sports cars. This decision has sparked intense discussion in the automotive community, as it challenges the conventional segmentation of vehicle performance. Following the release, BYD showcased the capabilities of these models in a speed test video. The Han L demonstrated a blistering 0-100 km per hour acceleration time of just 0.7 seconds, with a 100 km per hour to 200 km per hour sprint taking only 4.7 for seconds. Meanwhile, the Tang L, despite being an SUV, clocked an impressive 0-100 km h time of 3.6 seconds and a 100 km h to 200 km h acceleration in just 6.19 seconds. These figures put them on par with, if not ahead of, many performance-oriented sports cars, let alone family vehicles. The surprising performance of these, family cars, has raised a broader debate regarding the issue of technology surplus. Unlike the Xiaomi SU7 Ultra, which is deliberately positioned as a high-performance electric vehicle, targeting young enthusiasts and speed lovers, the Han L and Tang L are marketed toward a more general audience, including families and conventional drivers. This has led to concerns about road safety, as these vehicles will be driven by individuals who may not have experience handling such high-performance machines. A particular point of discussion revolves around whether an average driver, such as a 40-year-old woman, accustomed to a Honda CRV, would be able to manage a car with such overwhelming speed and acceleration capabilities. Many in the EV community have called for BYD to implement certain safety measures to ensure these high-performance features are used responsibly. Xiaomi, for instance, requires a trial period before unlocking its highest performance, driving mode in the SU7 Ultra, ensuring that only experienced drivers can access its full power. A similar approach by BYD could mitigate safety concerns while still allowing enthusiasts to enjoy the impressive performance, when they are ready. While the introduction of ultra-high performance motors in family-oriented vehicles may seem excessive at first glance, it represents a shift in the automotive landscape. EVs are no longer just about efficiency and sustainability, they are also redefining performance expectations. With advancements like these, BYD is positioning itself as a technological leader, pushing the boundaries of what mainstream EV can achieve. However, the true test will be whether the market embraces such extreme performance in everyday vehicles, and how automakers balance power with usability and safety. If BYD successfully integrates safeguards and training mechanisms, it could set a new standard for performance-oriented family cars, making high-speed thrills more accessible than ever. In 2024, 
BYD, China's largest automaker, reported robust financial performance, driven by strong sales of electric vehicles, EV, and plug-in hybrids. In the third quarter alone, the company achieved a net profit of 11.61 billion yuan, approximately $1.63 billion, marking an 11.5% increase compared to the same period in the previous year. This exceeded analysts' expectations, which had projected a net profit of 10.67 billion yuan. WSJ Revenue for the third quarter surged by 24% year-on-year, reaching 201.12 billion yuan. This growth was bolstered by the sale of 443,426 fully electric vehicles, reflecting a 2.7% increase from the previous year. Notably, BYD's quarterly revenue of $28.2 billion surpassed Tesla's $25.18 billion for the same period, highlighting BYD's expanding market presence. Over the first three quarters of 2024, BYD's cumulative revenue reached approximately 500.5 billion yuan, an 18.94% increase compared to the same period in 2023. The company's net profit attributable to shareholders during this period rose by 18.12%, totaling 25.24 billion yuan. This performance underscores BYD's effective strategies in scaling production and meeting the growing